All right. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All right, back at you with another lesson. So I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Harakab Badash. Double honors to all the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Sanitation to all the Akim, of Wakim, and the Wafman. My name is the elect men, women, and children that are in order. We almost out of here. Keep pushing, keep listening, keep learning, keep making changes, keep pleasing Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability. Yes, man. And rise up to the house of David. Weather's picking up, getting better. So, yeah, man, I'm out here. The last time I was over in this particular park doing my video, it, it was um, it was pure woes. Woes and curses and judgments is coming upon the wicked. When I saw that, um, that black black calm crow pursuing a white dove and since then there's been there's been just woes man and brothers have been saying man over there in the states the worst one of the worst weekends just gone man with sh shootings public shootings supermarket shootings gun gun shootings gang <laughs> gang young 13 year old being pursued probably a part of a gang no doubt but this is definitely woes right now coming upon this earth woes are here let me start with the precept man the first precept that comes to mind is let's get Jeremiah we're in that time and it's going to intensify Jeremiah 13 7 says alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it man yeah the elect gonna be saved out of it yeah like i say keep pushing man keep pushing keep doing the right thing by your whole by shimmy will shine and glorifying his name and pushing this truth and kissing the sun man seek the most high with fear and trembling man and you shall be delivered because he's not um he's not a man that he should lie and he's on his way and that's why we're hastening the day that the elite the elite of this kingdom are in fear they're seeing the chariots they're seeing them zooming over their um over their uh, silos and their military military air bases or places of war they have an interest or they have an interest in the places of war and that, that's very shocking because they're in their space where they're, it's a, a space where they're not supposed to be able to be, go over. Um, private airspace, forbidden airspace, and they're over there making mockery of their military, their arms, they're showing no fear, intimidating and making mockery of their, what they think, what he thinks he has superior and military, but there's something more, far more superior. So we're looking forward to that day, the day of war, the day of Armageddon is on its way, man. Malachi 4, and that's why we're seeing these shootings, man. You know, it's all a sign, man. Sign of Jacob's trouble, a sign of the, the end of the days. At first Peter 3, we're in the last days, man. And these are all the signs, man. In the Gospels, Matthew, Mark and Luke talks about there shall be perilous times, man. Earthquakes, wars, rumours of wars. What's happening over there now with, with Russia and the sanctions that America, uh, Joe Biden put on Russia. And they really, they really don't know what they're playing with now, man. They don't know what they're playing with, you see, because the most side is putting the spirit on all the other nations to rise up. And now they're flexing, they're showing their muscle. Yeah, because you're not, you're, not, you're Esau, yeah, so-called America. You're no, no longer the bully on the block. You know, there's another, there's a new kid on the block. <laughs> there's new kids on the block rising up and they're going, all going to join together and take you down, man. So that's why we're seeing all these signs. Malachi 4 and 2 says, But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as caves of a, of a stool. 
but, ye, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And that's what we're looking forward to. We're looking forward to that time when it's healing. We won't be healed now. We won't know new bodies. You know, we're behind enemy lines and the, the devil is throwing the kitchen sink. <laughs> yeah? He's throwing the kitchen sink on the subjects. Yeah? But the most is keeping us strong. He's keeping us healed. He's keeping us protected. And we know that, man. You know, here's another precept. Because um, I've been getting a lot of these kind of visions and dreams uh, regarding wings and traveling and flying. So um, the spirit, the spirits on me to bring out these this precept, these particular precepts. Isaiah 40 and 30 says, Even the youth shall faint, yes, man, in that day when the enemy shall come in like a flood, most I go and lift up, lift up a standard against them. And this is the precept to that. To the Isaiah 40, 30, Isaiah 59 and 19. This is the precept to that one. This is Isaiah 40 and 30. It says, Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Man, that's just a signifying of being renewed revitalized re-energized yeah and you have your good days too you have your you have those days where you feel energized re-energized even even now but that time's going to come when we're going to be in our new bodies we're going to get those new bodies we're going to be the real supermen yeah and we're going to be powerful beyond measure yeah we're going to be powerful beyond measure definitely over the over the ease when it comes to these ease we're going to be powerful beyond measure they're going to they're going to be they're going to be shook even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly faint but the most high your whole white whole shall is 144,000 but they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall they shall renew their strength they shall mount up wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint i can't i can't tell you how many times i've been having these visions on flying man which I put a lot of videos up there when I first started to do my videos they, those are the visions I was getting a lot of those and the last one I've had was I actually which we know it's all symbolism there's, you, you just got to pick out the sense from nonsense when you get these visions and dreams I literally the brother was looking at me and he was saying what's going on with you man you know and he's like you got, you got wings you know and, and when you look up the term wing because I, I looked up the term wings in the blue letter it signifies um well the precepts here bring it out you know flying flying as eagles wings um borders or skirts yeah rising up those types of things you know mounting up as wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint and eat and, and the eagles that's what he's, he represents that flying that soaring yeah that's what he brought it also mentioned soaring soaring on high being able to see far so yeah man here's another precept regarding what we're talking about psalms 104 and three says he who layeth the beams of the chambers in the waters who maketh the clouds his chariots and also chariots are in there yeah when you think about wings soaring and clouds who who walketh upon the wings of the wind there you have it who maketh his angels spirits his ministers a flaming fire man yeah man I, that vision another vision i had last night this was fresh off the press man <laughs> uh, i was in my old area the area i was brought up in and i don't know why i'm getting visions of that being out in my old area a lot you know and walking over a hill and what what do I see coming over the hill or above me dozens and dozens thousands mass a mass amount of chariot just like what you see sometimes in some of the videos that um that the that the wicked put up the ease put up when they see dozens and mass 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 chariots over there in Mexico and all those areas where they see so-called UFOs so this is a this is a this is a vision man this is why we're called seers we see what is about to take place in the very near future now getting nearer and nearer man 
So this was a mass amount of chariots and they were coming down. There was low, you could see them. You can actually see a little bit more detail than you usually see. Not just orbs, but chariots that you could see coming down. Irrefutable, irrefutable, undeniable chariots that they're shook about and they're dismayed about. The E's are shook and they're dismayed about. But we're not dismayed because we know we're getting nearer to that time. The Most High is showing himself. Psalms 68 though, though ye have laid among the pots Yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove Covered with silver and feathers with yellow gold feathers That's right I'll read I'll start again Though ye have laid among the pots <laughs> yeah, been in the scrap been in the scrap heap Yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove covered with silver and her f and feathers and her feathers with yellow gold. Man, I can, I can relate to that. <laughs> I can relate to that. Let me read that one more time. Psalm 68 and 13 says, I think the point is really, really made now. Though ye have laid among the pots, yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove. Yeah. Soaring, rising up. Being reinstated, uh, re, re, regenerated, re-energized, rising up as wings as the eagle. Though ye have laid among the pots, yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove, covered with silver, and her and feathers with yellow gold. Man, and gold symbolizes riches and royalty. Yeah, and even gold has a vibration to it, a very um, a very warming vibration to it so we're gonna have gold too you know what I mean um, off the scale not no 24 gar karat gold we're gonna have gold off the scale chart off the chart man you know pure gold I read that another and, and, that's a that's a nice I like this I like this um, preset man though ye have laid among the pots though we've been in a scrap heap under the yoke of the devils Deuteronomy 28, in slavery, tra transatlantic slavery, Jim Crow, oppression in a Babylon. Though ye have lain among the pots, ye shall be as the wings of a dove covered with silver. Right, royalty, silver and gold, covered with silver and feathers with yellow and gold. Man, that's a precept that is, that's a precept, I like that. I might do a little bit more. Go in a little bit more on the meaning of wings. You know, if the spirits on me go into the blue letter and, and the meanings, the symbolisms that surround wings, having wings, which we've got an idea already. Here's another one Psalm 55 and 6. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be as be at rest. <laughs> I know I'm speaking for all that I keep all the sincere elect. Yeah, if we had wings, we'd be out of this place, man. But we've got to wait. Because the old Bashim Yoshai, Malachi 2 and 4 says, he's coming with healing in his wings, man. If we had wings, we'd be out of here, man. Yeah, probably putting hell on the, de on the devils, devils as we speak, man. Yeah, wings signify soaring, flying above, ab above folly, above stupidity. You know what I'm saying? Elevated. As an eagle, that's what uh, wings signify. And I had that that vision, that dream, and it, they're all my dreams and so-called dreams, but which are visions. They all seem real when you're actually in them, man. Brothers were just looking at my wings and just saying, "Boy, look at that!" So, boy, man, symbolisms. That that was that was symbolic. And we know we're not going to have literal wings. We're going to be flying as if we had wings, according to Isaiah 40. We're gonna be flying as if we had wings as an eagle, and I'm gonna I'm gonna end with that one. Psalm 55 and 6 says, "And and I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest." <laughs> That's right. Lo, then I would I wander f far off. I rem I would remain in the wilderness. <laughs> yeah, this is heavy. This is heavy. Lo, then I would. I would wander far off and remain in the wilderness. Yeah, I'll be. A, I would escape. I'll be free. You know, that's another thing it symbolizes freedom. Being able to fly. 
I would escape. I'll be a wonder afar off. I'll be. I would escape in the wilderness. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be have nothing to do with Jacob's trouble. I'll just be watching, just like an eagle does, watching over bird's eye view. One more time. Then would I wander afar off and remain in the wilderness? <laughs> And I said, oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Say no more, speak for yourself. We're going to end off with this precept. Isaiah 40 and 30 says, Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. <laughs> renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. There you have it. We're going to rise up. We're going to rise up as wings as eagles. We're going to have strength, renewed strength. We're going to be elevated above all the wickedness. So I want to give all praises to Yahweh Hashim Yashua for giving me the spirit to do this video. Kwam Yashua Rise up to the house of David. Shall luck be upon all the wickedness that's done wickedness to us past, present and future and well be upon them. Yeah, as we're seeing now, much a, much a pageant be upon them. Aita, 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 let the judgment roll down as water. To what I fear my prayer, to what I command.